welcome to Scrapping with Sherry. I wanted to show you a really quick idea that I taught my customers at a crop last weekend that they really enjoyed, and I love the results from this idea. Now, this is what the idea looks like as a border on the side of this page, and all you need is your 12-inch trimmer with the cutting blade and the scoring blade, and then you might wanna go back and use the square maker, and I'll show you how to do that at the end. But this is a quick, easy idea. So the first thing you need to look for is a piece of our designer print that has good contrast between the front and the back. And you can see here, we've got a lot of contrast. So I'll put this in my cutter, slide it to the one inch mark, and I'm just gonna cut a little one inch strip off of this. Now when I've got that one inch strip, I need to switch out my blade to my scoring blade. So you just pop the top open, slide in that scoring blade and close. And I'm going to take this paper, and you can use either side for this part, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna feed it in from the right side of the trimmer, and I'm going to slide it down to the two inch mark on this left side of the trimmer. I'm also lining up along this 45 degree angle that is on my trimmer. So lining up on the 45 degree, lining up to the two inch mark, and I'm gonna score that. Then I'm gonna move that score line right down that 45 degree angle until that score line hits at my two inch mark. Now you've got two things to check. You wanna check that the score line is on the two inch mark and you wanna check that your 45 degree angle is lined up and you'll score that. And you just keep doing that down this page, down this little strip. Be sure you line up on the two and line up on the 45 and score. And I'm gonna do that one more time, lining up at the two inch mark and on the 45 degree line. Now when I've got that done, all I've got to do is fold it in a zigzag shape, back and forth and back and forth, kind of an accordion fold. And you've got something that looks like this. Now, obviously, this is not going to be long enough to go all the way down a 12-inch piece of paper. So, you'll take another strip and do the same thing, and then you can just piece those strips together underneath that. Okay? So, I also went back after I had done that, and I cut a piece of cardstock to go underneath it. And I'm cutting that just with my regular blade. And I made a two inch piece of cardstock, two inches wide. Now, this fits exactly on my two inch wide cardstock. Now, what you're going to see is on the bottom, it has to go off a little bit, but you'll tape it down with your tape runner and it will fit right up through there. Now look how pretty that is. So I've got the first piece put down, but I still need to finish that out. So here's a helpful hint. When you're putting the paper in to score your second one inch strip, you need to be sure that you use the same color side up. So when I scored it the first time I used the blue side up, I need to use the blue side up again. Otherwise it will not match up at all. So turn the same color side up score and continue all the way down. Now let me show you how that matches up. I've already scored this and I'll just tape this right over the edge of that. And you don't need very much obviously, but you do need a little bit to finish that out. So you'll just tape these down. Does it match exactly? No, but that's a great place to put an embellishment if you can see where it doesn't match. Or you can slide this one underneath that a little bit, chop it off just a touch and finish that out. So there's your helpful hint, hope you enjoy it. Now on this particular one, this navy behind that is really pretty. So you don't necessarily need to add the squares, but when I did this initial one, I had just done it on white cardstock and it was so bare and I felt like it needed some more pops of color in there. And that's where your square maker comes in handy. So I put these on with repositionable tape so I could get them straight when I put them on and it was pretty easy to pull it right back off. So to make the squares on there, I'm going to do one just with this extra paper I've got right here just so I can show you what it's going to look like. 
you use your square punch and you just punch a square. Now, a contrasting pattern at this point would be really nice because this is gonna kind of fade into my back, um, into my design I've got going on already. But you cut a square and then you just line it up on the cutting lines on your 12 inch trimmer, top to bottom, point to point on the cutting line and slice that. And then you could go back and add these squares into the open spaces. And they do hang off just a touch, but once you've gotten everything taped down, it's really easy to flip this over and just make a quick cut down the edge of it to trim that out. Now, if I used a totally different color here, it would be really pretty, but you don't even have to do that with this navy cardstock showing behind. So, a quick, easy zigzag border. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this zigzag border. Until next time, happy scrapping. Mm -hmm.